when they start Horvat and Barzell. They don't always do that. Although I, I think Patrick Waugh has done that a lot with Adam Pellick. And right off the draw, it's Sanderson with some speed going to the net, put it across, grabbed by Barzell. The Islanders don't have the momentum up ice, so they will take it and bring it methodically ahead. Horvat to Barzell. Barzell now has Dobson with him as an option. Barzell finds an opening, tried to take a shot and surprise Corpusalo, makes the save and keeps it moving. Islanders getting caught in a change here, but the back check from Dobson got the puck away from Stutzla, who then stole it away from Paul Mary. Nelson having to hustle to get there. Uh, good job, and Brock knew the automatic out. Just get it over to Dobson. You get the sense there's going to be some chances in this uh, overtime. Paul Mary leaned on, takes the seat, playing the puck, tripped up. Brady Kachuk, who will get up and take the puck. Detroit has already won their game this afternoon against Buffalo, so if the Islanders want to stay in a playoff spot, they need this extra point. Shane Pinto leaves it for Brady Kachuk, who's got two. Wrist shot in and out of the glove of Varlamov. Islanders calm things down for the moment. A minute 10 gone by here in OT. Yeah, nice play by Paul Mary. No pressure. Wait until everybody cleared out of the area. Ooh! Pajot wasn't expecting that pass from Dobson. No. Be a turnover. Islanders just give up possession in overtime. As Matthew Joseph, who took that penalty that led to the Islander game time goal on the ice for Ottawa. It's Batherson with the puck. Batherson moving away from Holmstrom. Batherson has Barlamov scrambling. Dobson helps stop him from wrapping it around. And then Dobson plays it to Pajot. Bump back to Dobson, but he can't grab it. Varlamov will pop out and keep it under Islander control. I need to slow it down. Holmstrom's way out by the blue line, and Dobson says, well, I'll just slow this thing down. And I imagine he might change. Yeah, he's been on the ice for a minute and a half as Barzell carries in. Barzell wrist shot leaked through Corpusalo, but wide of the net. Yeah, almost had him. Now they have to hustle back. Well, Giroux stripped of the puck by Barzell and the NHL leaders in takeaways. Yeah, he's so quick, looking for a quick change. And puts Brock Nelson on the ice. Nelson Horvat and Mike Riley as Claude Giroux. There's what you don't like, Brendan, circling back. Yep. Third straight overtime game for the Ottawa Senators, who have won one in overtime and one in a shootout in this stretch. As Tim Stutzla works away from Horvat, drop pass Chikrin. Nelson comes to challenge him. Now it's Giroux back to Chikrin in his skates. Halfway through overtime. Stutzla taking it wide. And Puck got stuck on his stick as he tried to drop it for Giroux. They find Giroux closing in, and it rolled off his stick. Yeah, Riley was watching the puck and just got caught a little bit. Puck staring. Penalty taken here by Horvat. He got a little handsy with Stutzel along the boards, and it'll be an overtime power play for Ottawa as the extra attacker coming on now as Corpusalo heads off. Stutzel poke checked away, and an Islander Horvat penalty for holding will set the stage here in overtime. Take another look at that penalty. And yeah, you can't complain. You had a chance to tie the game late, and you did. And yeah, he's holding them. Look at the left arm. I think that's a good call, Brendan, and watching it. And, I mean, you're not happy, and Horvath breaks the stick, so now you got to get a. Uh oh, you got a. Gave him a miss. They give him an extra one. Yeah, Horvath's going to be done here. Yeah. Oh, well, Horvat teed up by Kelly Sutherland for an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty after breaking the stick. And so they may have just given him a 10 minute misconduct. And he'll sit and watch from the box as Ottawa has called their timeout. They'll have a chance to win it here on an overtime power play. I'm not sure why. Well, this home from home from came over, so must have brought him a, a stick. Horvat's got to be careful; he'll get thrown out of the game. I think he can still go in the shootout if they don't score in the. Uh, I don't power play. because of the misconduct. I don't think he can. Oh no, if he gets a misconduct. But. Yeah, he got ten. I'm, I'm assuming. Two and. There's the new stick given to him. And may have been the extra words after he was given the new stick that got him the extra penalty. If he had ten, then he should be. Leaving the penalty box. Well, if he had two, he should be leaving the penalty box. Yeah. <laughs> Face off win for Ottawa. Four on three on the power play. Islanders penalty kill in desperate need of one here. This one is out of play off the stick. Oh, that's too bad because that play would have been out of bounds. They would have had a chance to clear that puck. Ryan Pollock ready to chuck a few words. So 
Varlamov talking things over with Brandon Blandina. Before they put this puck down, Pelic, Pulak, and Pajot in charge of killing it off. At least the start of it. Kachuk with Batherson, Giroux, and Stutzla, four forwards for the Senators' power play. Tied up off the draw. Kachuk able to get back to his feet. Puck was still there. Shoving after Pelic. Pelic stumbles down. Pajot tried to pin it here. Pajot pulls away with it. Takes his time and sends it down. Uh, good job, hard work along the boards there by the Islanders, Pajot and Pollock. And so Suzekis comes out. Still plenty of time for the for the Senators on this four on three. Here's Kachuk. He'll leave it for Batherson. Minute 13 to go. Claude Giroux. Drop past Stutzla. Returns to Giroux. Stutzla again. Over for Batherson. Save Varlama. Pollock found the rebound and clears. Uh, nice job there. You know that Varlamov's reading that play. They're, they're going to try and go wide on him. Nobody's going to shoot much if they're forward. Pajot or, Pel or uh, Sezikis is standing right in front of the slot area. 45 seconds to go. 3 3 here in overtime. Drew down. Kachuk fumbled the puck. Pellet quickly on it. Gets to it and fires. The length of the ice. 35 seconds left. Islanders trying to send the game to a shootout. Ottawa trying to win it right here. Pellet falls down. That allows Pinto a little room. Pinto. Kachuk. Game winner on the hat trick from Brady Kachuk. Adam Pellet fell down in the neutral zone. That turned it into a two on one for Ottawa. They cash in and win it 4-3 with a power play goal in overtime. Yeah, that was just a bad break there as Adam just tripped over the blue line and the Ottawa Senators take advantage of that. Beautiful pass by Pinto quickly all the way across to, to Kachuk and he rifled it in a hurry. Got that puck off his stick rather quickly. Three goals for Kachuk. Third career hat trick, second this season as he hits the 30 goal mark here this afternoon on Long Island with an overtime game winner that sends the Islanders losing streak to three. Oh, well, you watch the middle of your screen as Adam just trips over it. Ryan Pollock's trying to a little direction. See where Ryan put it, Ryan Pollock put his stick there, Brendan. I, I don't know why he turned it to his left. He's got to protect the pass. And you can watch this, and you see this again. What happens is Ryan's got to keep his stick on the right side, prevent the pass. Watch him move it to the left, and there, and that gave the opening for for Kachuk. So, for me, Ryan would have been better served to keep that stick on the right hand side instead of opening it up, forcing him to shoot the puck. You know, he's pointing over to his right. I think he's saying Sezik has cut off that pass, but he wasn't there to cut no, off that no, pass. No, he wasn't. And so that's, for me, it's a little bit of a mistake and a, and a piece, obviously, of bad luck on, on Adam falling.